I love that song. It's time to talk about a child here in Arizona who needs a home. So joining us today, we have Crystal Ziegler. She's an adoption specialist, a place to call home. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me, Abigail. Absolutely. So we're talking about 13-year-old Jillian. Yeah. She's so fun and spunky, isn't she? She is. Yeah, she's a really sweet little girl. She um, expresses herself creatively through drawing. She likes to collect rocks. She loves to sing. She's in her school choir. She's very, very smart. She Math is her favorite subject, and she's in a lot of honors math classes, which is not my favorite subject. No, me either. <laughs> I am like all English, avoid math at all costs. Yeah. Good for her. Um, so she um, loves to swim, wants to be on the beach, collect seashells, things like that. Her big dream is to be a part of a team. So she'd like to be a part of a soccer awesome. or volleyball team at some time. That's great. And that teaches yeah. kids so much, too. Yeah. You know, and that's an easy fix. You just get them on a sports team, and they can roll with that. Absolutely. Is she looking for a home with siblings? Um, yes. She's either looking for a home without siblings or with older siblings. OK. Um, but most important, just a family that's committed to her that can help her see what we see. You know, when Definitely. we see pictures of her, we see a really beautiful little girl. but. Mm -hmm. A beautiful girl that's been waiting for a long time and so um, you know there's some trauma that she has to work through and she needs a family that's going to be committed to her and help her see how beautiful she is and oh, all the gifts and talents that she holds. Yeah have a warm heart and give yeah. her that confident boost and see her for what she really Absolutely. is. Absolutely. That's so important as a role with a family. Um, what yeah. can you tell us about her past? What has she been through? Well I mean I, I can't really reveal the information right. but, but she's been through a tough you know some tough things and she has some things to heal from and right. um, somebody who can be committed to kind of walk through with her mm -hmm. um, there's a blog that says um, I know your story I accept your story let's write a new story together oh I love and that. I think that's what Abriel needs or that's what um, Tillian Jillian, needs yeah. sorry Abriel could, could use some <laughs> of that too we too. all could rewrite a little bit of our story yeah but Tillian needs someone to walk with her and write a new story and yeah. and to be okay with her past and to say hey this is not who you are because that's the thing this is not her fault no absolutely you know the fact not. that she's sitting right now without a family is right. not her fault right so she needs someone to love her and help her through her past definitely and that's so doable yeah. I mean all it is you have to have an open heart an open home you yeah. walk these children through their first you know and help them along the way teach them stuff you can change somebody's life so quickly absolutely um, she has so many hobbies as you kind of stated before <laughs> yeah. she said she's read 140 oh, books yes, in forgot. one yes. year that's a big accomplishment so congrats yeah, on yeah, that Jillian she loves to read so I guess she's not without a book ever yeah and, well that's um, fabulous and is very proud of the fact that last year she read 140 books. So I'm excited if I get through she's one book. On <laughs> so she <laughs> is doing a great job. Um, Crystal, I want to yes. talk a little bit about the kids that are still needing a home right now. Yeah. The number is still at 17,000 and yeah. it's rising. Can you tell Absolutely. us about that? Absolutely. Yeah, they're, um, they're a great need for homes. They're a need for adoptive homes, but they're also a need for foster homes. Yeah. I went and met a foster mother the other day at a placement center and there were 30 children waiting wow. for homes that are just in limbo because mm -hmm. there's not a bed open because we just need homes where they can go for a period of time. Right, so you know? there's options. Yeah, so there's options. There's also respite homes that are needed to help foster families that are doing this, yeah. doing the hard stuff to get a break. Okay, so, so basically you have some options. You can adopt, you can be a foster home, right. or you can be a, is it a respite home that yes. you said, yeah. and that is basically helping out some of the foster homes to yeah, give them a little it's, bit it's, of a break, yeah. for lack of better phrasing. Yeah, for a couple hours or maybe a weekend, or you know maybe they need to go out of town for a funeral and they don't want to take the children with them, or maybe they just need a date night to remember who each other totally. is. Totally, and we all so, need time like that yeah, to come back to ourselves to, so we can give others our best. Absolutely. Absolutely. They okay. need to recharge so that they can give back to the kids again. Yeah. So. All right. Well, we have to wrap it up. Yeah. I do want to stress about the point that adoption through the state nearly costs nothing. So it's something, if this is something for you and yeah, your family. Yeah, it costs nothing at all. Yeah. And where can people find you real quick? Yeah. At, um, at a place to call home, okay. Guido 4560549. Okay. So let's find Jillian, yeah. fabulous Jillian, a new home. Give her that confidence that she really deserves. She's a wonderful girl. Thank you so she much, is. Crystal. Yeah, for so. more information, you can also visit aztv.com. But right now, Catherine's going to have your news.